Jack, how did you do that? All of the Guardians are formidable heroes who possess talents, weapons, and skills capable of taking on evil. But one of them seems to possess powers that are unprecedented in strength. Neither he or the other Guardians can understand. Jack Frost is shown to wield magic capable of taking on Pitch and his armies of nightmares with ease. Like when he smacks his hands together to create an insane ice storm. But Jack is the newest entity chosen by the man in the moon and we believe Jack derived from a boy. So what makes him so special? Where does this raw power come from? Hello, I'm Isaac from Watso Videos where we discuss fun topics for fun people. I'm focused on spreading magic, and to do that today, we are going to be looking into the backstory of Jack Frost to determine why he's such a powerful guardian of childhood. By the way, major spoilers ahead for Jack Frost, the end becomes the beginning, and the other Guardians of Childhood books. If you'd like to check out these wonderful stories yourself, I have linked them in the description. In Rise of the Guardians, we may only see Jack Frost transitioning from a mortal boy to an immortal wielder of ice and magic, but in actuality, his life began long, long ago as one of the most powerful entities in the universe known as a nightlight. During the Golden Age, the era where both Pitch and the Man in the Moon were created, Jack Frost's original form was forged by the Royal Celestials from the House of Lunanoff. King Tassar and Queen Tassarina Lunar combined Starlight, the laughs of 10,000 children, and a lock of hair from both of them to create a nightlight to protect their son, the Prince. This Prince of Lunanoff would in fact be known later in his life as the Man in the Moon. You see, nightlights were special. They were extremely rare. In all of history, there had only been seven nightlights and the man in the moon's nightlight was the last of his kind. They were immensely powerful beings of the cosmos. The man in the moon would later explain, within each nightlight is the energy of a star. No other creature in the universe has more power. They were fiercely loyal beings who had the resolve to never stray from their oaths. Once the nightlight made its oath to someone and it only could possess one at a time, they would watch over the dreams of that person and protect them from nightmares for they never slept until that person had grown to be a proficient adult. Finally, a nightlight's end was world changing. After Nightlight's oath was completed, they were meant to be transformed into a star to watch over and protect the dreams of all beings in the universe, but that would never occur for this Nightlight. This incredibly powerful being would one day become Jack Frost. With the rise of Pitch at the end of the Golden Age and Pitch's desire to corrupt the Prince of Lunanoff, Nightlight was forced to face and stop the Nightmare King for the first time, resulting in the destruction of the Prince's parents, the boys landing on Earth's moon, and Nightlight being trapped within the cold heart of the sleeping boogeyman on Earth. For hundreds of years, Nightlight remained imprisoned while the boy he was meant to protect grew into a wise and caring guardian of the children of the universe, and this meant Nightlight had begun the process of deviating from his fate as a nightlight. Nightlight had avoided becoming a star, allowing him to not only be an insanely powerful entity from the Golden Age, but be one of the few beings to exist long after that era. After the Golden Age had ended, one of the Man in the Moon's moonbeams found Nightlight and freed him, but in the process, Pitch was also awakened. As the most powerful of the five Golden Age relics known to exist on Earth, Nightlight began to assist the wielders of the other relics who were known as the Guardians of Childhood to protect the world from Pitch. Soon though, with this freedom, Nightlight would further deviate from the life of an ordinary Nightlight. On his many adventures, he became close friends with a girl named Catherine, who was the guardian of storytelling and known to the world as Mother Goose. Over time, Nightlight and Catherine learned to trust one another and share a distinct happiness only the closest of friends could share. So when Pitch imprisoned Catherine in an endless nightmare of sleep in hopes of corrupting her soul to transform her into a darkling daughter, Nightlight was willing to do anything to save her. When Nightlight found his Catherine, he remembered the goodnight kiss. He remembered that the man in the moon's parents would kiss the prince goodnight every night. He remembered that this kiss would take away all the hurt of the day. A kiss was a powerful thing, a thing of hope, and he knew that he was a creature of unending hope, so his kiss must have great power. He also knew something no Nightlight had ever known, that he loved. He loved his Catherine more than anything in all the universe. 
Nightlight went and kissed Catherine, and in that moment, all of Pitch's dark spells went away, and both Nightlight and Catherine were forever changed. That kiss marked a turning point in both Nightlight and Catherine's lives for the ancient wizard Ombrick, known to the world as Father Time, explained, The first kiss is the end of childhood and the beginning of the grown-up journey. And something remarkable happened. Nightlight was magic from the Golden Age, while a kiss is human magic. So when the two kissed, those two types of magic mixed and merged to make magic unlike any the universe had ever seen, which altered Nightlight's oath and changed what he was. Their kiss brought Nightlight to swear to dedicate himself to the wonder and goodness he felt for Catherine, and he was now neither purely of the Golden Age or human, but something else completely. His continued change was later solidified when he dreams for the first time. When Pitch steals the relics that empower the Guardians and builds an army to attack the Man in the Moon in a battle now known as the Battle of Bright Night, Nightlight feels he must unlock a power within him no Nightlight had ever experienced before. He must dream. The man in the moon sprinkled dream sand onto his old protector's head to allow him to sleep, causing the creature to radiate light and change. In his moon dream, he is not a nightlight but a human boy, and he lives with a family. There's a boy and a younger sister and a pair of kind caring parents, and for some reason he has a feeling that he belongs and is cared for, and that he can be wild and free like any human child. He is drawn to that life. When Pitch finally attacked and threatened the lives of the Man in the Moon and Catherine, Nightlight awakened with a childlike wildness to him, and his old uniform transformed to be a simple hoodie and pants and no shoes. Nightlight's aura had dimmed. He could sense he was beginning to grow up, and he was longing for a new life. But in that moment, he called upon the stars of the previous Nightlights who defeated Pitch and his armies and returned the relics on that day. After saying goodbye to Catherine and the Man in the Moon, Nightlight took Pitch back to Earth to be imprisoned, and once he accomplished that mission, he set out to find the family of his dreams. Although he did love Catherine for a reason he did not understand, he felt he had to experience a new life. Nightlight noticed his powers as the Nightlight were decreasing in strength as others began to form. But soon enough, he stopped using any powers altogether when he found the family he had envisioned. The kind people he found adopted him as their own, allowing Nightlight to finally live the life of a human boy. To his adopted family, though, he was not Nightlight. He was... Jack Frost. Jack Frost is such a powerful guardian because he was originally created to be one of the most formidable entities in the entire universe, a nightlight. Over hundreds of years, his nightlight form evolved in a way that was never seen before by avoiding his fate as a star, altering his oath with a kiss, experiencing dreams, and choosing a life as a human boy. Thus, when Jack Frost awakens from the icy lake he falls within, he emerges as an entity with powers capable of taking on Pitch and his nightmares, unlike any other creature in the universe. Thank you to my generous and awesome patrons over at Patreon for continuing to support me, and thank you for watching this video, you fun person. I hope you enjoyed today's video on Rise of the Guardians as much as I did. I am loving diving into the lore of this movie and series and can't wait to keep going in the future. So if you'd like to stay up to date with those videos when they're released and if you have a lot of fun with me here on YouTube, then please subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at WatsoVideos so we can continue the fandom discussions all the time and so you can always be surrounded by this magical community. If you'd like to see more Watso videos, then check out some awesome pics over here. And as always, have a magical day.